Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of the Little Fella Challenge um, with me Adam at T-Boom FM. Um, as you can see we are still top of the league, three points top with a game in hand. Um, we have played a total of five games since last time you were with us. First game was a one-all draw against Barrow uh, with a brilliant equaliser by Jamie Gray there. We follow this up with a 3-2 win away against Wrexham. Um, as you can see, we dominated that game. Rec um, Gray again scoring a, a brace in this game, so we'll see his first one there. And he scored one in the second half as well, which is this, this beautiful finish here. Beat the offside trap, cut it across the keeper to make it 3-1. We then totally dominated a poor Halifax team, beating them 4-0. The first goal was a header from Warren in the bottom corner. Arthur then fired in two. Very good finishes either side of half time. And Axel Rose applied the finish for the fourth to complete the route. There was goals galore in this next game with Hartlepool winning 5 3. Um, we were 3 1 up at one stage, um, but it did come back to 3 all. Gray helped himself to a, the perfect hat trick. So that was a left foot finish, a header, and then he gets a, a right foot penalty in the bottom corner to make it 5-3. Um, we then went away against Chorley and beat them 2-0. Arthur scoring a lovely header. The following game we beat Kidderminster 4-0 in the um, FA Trophy first round with McGee getting a hat-trick in this game. A header, left foot finish. In between Rose got this goal which was given to the defender and a left footed penalty for McGee to get his hat-trick. Um, the game we're going to play in this episode is against Notts County, who are fifth in the league, but they have been struggling recently. So we'll have to see how, how they're going to get on in this game against us. We have made two signings. Um, Connor Hall was brought in as another striker. Five-star potential, or four-and-a-half-star potential. He looks a very well-rounded player. If we look at his career history... He's had a, a few strange clubs. He played in Chorley in this league last season, but the, the one that stands out is Ascot. I've never heard of Ascot in the Hellenic Premier League before. The other signing we made was Brandon Kavanagh. Um, we signed him in the summer, but he's only just joined us in a free transfer um, from Ireland. So he's going to play on the, on the right-hand side, but as you can see from his diagram, he can play anywhere across the top and midfield. From Shamrock Rovers as he came. So, Notts County in very poor form. The team for today are Flattery and Goal, Murphy and Burke fullbacks, Brown and Warren centre halves, Kavanagh and McGee on the wings, Leathers Big Mama in the middle, and Evans and Gray. Hopefully, Gray can con continue his wonderful goal scoring form at the moment. Kavanagh out to Murphy. Murphy puts it in. Back post. McGee. McGee to Burke. Burke to Leathers. Leathers to Burke. And back again. Good bit of passing play here. Leathers to Big Mama, out to McGee, Burke puts it in, blocked McGee, goal, Evans has scored his second goal of the season, somehow managed to creep in, just seven minutes here, so you see McGee on the left hand side, linking up well with Burke, whips it in, headed away, McGee again, Evans, oh, just, just crossed the line there, a very good start for Hartlepool. Corner there to Notts County is going just over. Another chance for Notts County. Pushed out wide. Whipped in. Osborne's headed over the bar. So again, Notts County attacking in the 14th minute. Down this left hand side. They get a little bit of joy down here. It's cleared away. Crossed in. Osborne. Oh, it was tackled. And then Wooten has, has um, struck to make it one all here. Let's watch this again. A Baldwin, who, who was their best player, I think. In terms of star players, it's a good block. First time round, just put it straight into their forwards path and back to one all. 38 minutes gone here now. Kavanagh breaks on the right hand side. Puts in Gray's equal out. So made the 2 1. Another lethal finish from Jamie Gray. So Warren with the free kick. Down the wing to Kavanagh. Kavanagh hit the byline, whipped the cross in for his Irish, his fellow Irishman, to smash it in from two yards out. So Notts County breaking again. Oh, just wide of the post. So a very good first half there. 2-1 up. 
So we're making this up here for 65 minutes. Arthur's coming on. A very quiet second half. And they've got a corner here for Notts County. Whipped in. Oh, back post header. It's back to two all. Another corner we've, we've conceded from. So Booty whipped at the back post. Lacey comes in with a header. And it's two all. Corner to Evans. King Arthur's hit the post. Throw in Evans here. Cleared away Big Mama. King Arthur. Oh, he's looped it over the keeper. 3 2 to Hartlepool. That must be the winner now. Let's watch this again. Evans puts it in. Headed away. Big Mama enters the area. Puts it back to the back post. King Arthur looping head over the keeper. Beautiful. Not County goalkeeper kicks it out. Gray. Evans through to Kavanagh. Oh, mistake. Kavanagh. 4 2, Hartlepool. Kavanagh won the initial header, went to Evans, played it through. The defenders just fell over there, and Kavanagh finishes quite easily. A nice finish. His first goal of the season. So, Kavanagh got man of the match with a goal and assist, and as you can see, we are six points top now. We're very happy with the way things are going at the moment. Yep, still six points top there. Won the last five games, five, six games. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next episode.